Hello everyone, Tommy's Reptiles here. And this will be an extreme enclosure makeover. So my baby frilled dragon will have to be in this enclosure for the next few weeks until I can give her an upgrade. So until then, I'm gonna give this enclosure a little spruce up and uh, make it a little better for her for the next few weeks. So first things first, let's get her out of that enclosure and put her in this little temporary container. All right, here she is. All right, this is just for a little while. All right, we'll bring it outside, take everything out, rinse it off, and then spruce it up. Ooh, nasty. You can see some of the water I spray her down with seeped under that mat and um, some mealworms got under there. Surprisingly, they're still all alive, but I'm gonna replace that mat with some sand. Let's hose this tank out, get it nice and clean. hose off this mat too. I got an idea for this mat. We'll use that as the background. There we go. All right, let's give the tank a little wipe down. I found this cool branch on the side of the road like a couple years ago and I've been waiting to use it. Um, but why not just cut it and give this frill dragon a few awesome climbing options. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put it right up here and then mark where I cut it and then I'm gonna give her about maybe three climbing options here. So let's put it right up to the tank. See where it's gonna fit inside and then mark it. I'll cut the first one here. There's the line. All right. Good enough. There might be exactly enough for three. All right. Right around here. It's perfect. I like the way that this one has a little twist. So I'm gonna flip it upside down and mark it so then that little twist is at the top. All right. Right about there. All right, last cut. One more cut. There we go, good enough. All right, next we'll take the old mat and then insert it. And it's the perfect size for the background. I think it is at least, there we go. Look at that, perfect size for the background. When I fill up the bottom with the sand that I'm using for the substrate, it'll keep the background in place so I don't have to worry about it moving at all. So let's go grab the sand and get started. This is just children's play sand, which I use all the time. There we go, it's a good amount. Perfect amount. All right, here's what I got so far. I got the background and the sand. Um, the background's popping out a little too far, so I'll use some rocks to push it back. And then I just gotta level out the sand. All right, I'm gonna use couple of these pieces of slate. Wedge them right up against that side. Keeps the background pressed against the glass. Gives it more room. Gives the lizard more room. I think that's overkill. I'm just gonna stick with two for now. Level up the sand a little bit. Yeah. I think that's good for now. All right, guys, next I'm gonna take those three little sticks that I cut, and then I'm gonna nail them into the top of the screen and make three little makeshift trees for the frill dragon to climb on. Take that tin foil off the screen, then all I'm gonna do is take the screen, press the flat part of the stick to the screen, and then nail it through the top. 
The only annoying part is anytime I take the screen off, all the little trees will come out with it, but that's okay for now. It's only for a few weeks. So I'm just gonna kind of move these around, figure out where exactly I want them. Then I'll put the screen on top and I'll just estimate where that's gonna be. And then I'll just place the nails where those spots are. And I'm gonna go outside and nail it in. So I think something like this will be good. Yeah, something like that. All right, guys, let's do the first one. So I've never done this before. Hopefully it works. All right, let's start nailing them in. Get it lined up. Okay. Much easier than the first one. All right, one more to go. All right, guys, let's test out the new lid with the trees. Wow, it worked out perfect. It worked out better than I thought, and it's easier to take the screen off than I thought. You kind of just press it down and the sticks just stick into the sand. All right, guys, let's just add some foliage. Then we're almost done with the whole entire build. All right, guys, for the foliage, I'm just gonna keep it simple. I was thinking about ripping off some of the leaves and putting them at the top of every tree to make it look more like a tree, but then I was like, it's gonna block the UVB and uh, the heat. So I'm just gonna wedge it in the background and uh, just leave it like that for now. So I'm just gonna wedge it right back behind this background. Kinda make it look like a vine growing up the, the back. something like that and then the frill dragon could still hide in there if she needs to all right that's how the foliage turned out i think i kind of like it and i uh, might actually leave this enclosure like this for now just to keep it simple and just to see how my baby frill dragon adjusts for the next couple weeks and then in the future when i have babies i can have them grow up in here for a few months and um, keep it as a frill dragon nursery i don't like to fill up young reptile enclosures with too much stuff because um, I think it could be overwhelming. And also, um, I kind of like to leave as much space in it on the side and the front so they can kind of explore a little bit. Because this enclosure is a little too small for um, the current baby I have. She's going to be upgraded in a few weeks, like I said, to a much bigger enclosure. And then in the future, this is going to be perfect for tiny little baby frillies. All right, guys, let's get the lights on this enclosure and then get the baby frill dragon back in and see how she does. Let there be light. Subscribe to me if you want to live. She's sick and tired of being in this little container. All right, let's get her out. Put her back in for her next three weeks. Let's get a close look at her, give her a little inspection. Make sure that she doesn't have any mites. This is the best spot to check because mites always go right behind their frill, but she's looking good, looking healthy, and pretty soon she'll get a much bigger enclosure, but let's put her in here and see how she does. All right, so I'm just gonna pop the top a little bit. There you go. Gonna give her a little time to settle in. When I first put her in this enclosure, maybe a couple months ago, she was maybe the length of her tail. And now she's already almost doubled in size. So it's definitely time for a major upgrade. This tank is definitely not big enough for her. So we'll get her a nice new setup. But in general for a baby frill dragon enclosure, this is the main key that I always try to do is put vertical climbing options because that's what they do in the wild. In the wild, they're gonna climb trees and just pretty much hug on a tree all day to avoid getting uh, attacked by birds and other predators. All right, guys, it's been about 20 minutes and she hasn't really moved, but let's see if she'll eat something. Nice. It's always a good feeling when you rearrange a reptile's enclosure and they eat. Makes you think that they're comfortable. Let's give her one more. Good job. All 
I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching Tommy's Reptiles. I'll be back.